In this video, I'll show you how to design your talent job to create AWS S3 connection and also load data into S3 bucket. Right? A data lake is a collection of objects uh, in the form of data files, which can be used for further uh, data analysis purposes. Right? Uh, I will also show you how to create your Athena uh, database and uh, table uh, for the data analysis purposes. Right? So let's get started. I'm now logging onto my Amazon uh, AWS console. Uh, once we log on, uh, we should be able to see uh, the home page and under services, uh, we could directly get to S3. So currently uh, on my S3, um, I have got two buckets. So we'll go ahead and create one new bucket and also uh, show you how to load data files into that particular bucket. Right. Um, even the bucket creation, uh, we can actually do it in within talent. So let me head over to talent. So this is my talent open studio for 7.3.1. Uh, so the very first thing uh, is to make S3 connection, right? For the first step is we'll pull the S3 um, connection objects. So here is the component for S3, right? So when, when it comes to uh, connecting to S3, there are actually three different ways you can create connection. Uh, the very first uh, thing is to uh, create the connection based on uh, access key and also secret key. These are nothing but username and password, right? As soon as an IAM user is created on AWS, uh, for every user, there will be a set of access key and secret key. Um, so you will make uh, the connection using access key. This is the first type. The second one is um, to go ahead and inherit the credential from AWS role. So this option is, um, uh, will help actually to leverage the connection which is already granted on this box. So let's say we already have an EC2 instance uh, on talent server. Uh, on that server, you can actually set up the uh, role and whenever a talent job executes on that particular server, it will make use of the role to connect to uh, AWS and perform any operations on top of it. Another way to uh, create a connection using assume role. Right, so from the role that is attached to the instance, you can actually create and uh, assume another role to perform a set of operation on AWS resources. Right, for that you will need a role ERN uh, and also role session name. So this uh, works based on a temporary uh, security authentication, right, uh, which will allow uh, our connections for a particular uh, you know, time period. So that's another um, you know way of creating. I'll probably make another video to uh, go over these uh, connection types. But for today, I'll go ahead and um, add the uh, access key and secret key. All right, so I've added access key and secret key. And under advanced settings, you will have option to uh, specify the custom region endpoint and also configure client. And also you can enable accelerated mode. Um, so this will enable faster data transfer uh, on that S3 connection. Right, so for now, let's go ahead and um, make use of S3 bucket list. So this component is used to uh, list all the bucket names that are existing in the S3 um, you know, buckets. So what I'll do is from uh, S3 connection, I'll go ahead and connect to the S3 bucket list and I'll make use of existing connection. Right, so this will not actually print uh, the bucket names. For that, you will have to put tjava component and uh, we will have to connect it using iterate because we'll have more multiple buckets, right? So once you get to this component, just go ahead and delete that. And in the outline window, you will get the bucket name, current bucket name. So this is the variable. Um, so we will have to print this variable, right? So for that, uh, I'll just do system dot out dot print line and at the end we will just close it and then save it so let's go ahead and run the connection run the job all right the connection is successful and there were two buckets and it is printing uh, those two buckets here Right, so this confirms the uh, S3 connection and also uh, listing out the buckets. Right, let's go ahead and create a new bucket now. 
so we'll make use of uh, create bucket uh, component and remember this is not a, a everyday um, task but uh, you can just do it uh, in the talent itself and or also you can do the same thing on AWS console and keep only uh, the S3 uh, get put or gonna copy kind of operations within your talent job. See this is just for the uh, demonstration purpose um, like just to show you how all the capabilities within the talent component. So create S3 bucket uh, we will just connect it using on sub job ok and uh, we will just go ahead and create a new bucket and also please note uh, bucket is always uh, the region level and it has to be a unique name every time you create a new bucket okay so I have already entered my um, bucket name let's go ahead and save it so we'll do one thing we'll uh, soon after the connection we'll pass it to um just create component and from here we will call the bucket list so let's see if this uh, bucket is created then it will um you know show up on the final uh, output okay i'm gonna go ahead and run the job okay so now a uh, new bucket is created and also if you see the new bucket is created and also listed on the bucket list right so once uh, this is done uh, you can also make use of s3 put right uh, i'll just pull it on the design area and i'll just go ahead and de deactivate these okay so for the S3 put, uh, what this does is the first and foremost thing is to create, use the um, existing connection and uh, we will have to specify the bucket name. So we'll just copy this. Okay, so the bucket name is specified and this is the local file. So I'll just go ahead and use one of the input file input maybe I'll just use this particular one and the key um, so key is nothing but uh, the is the object name uh, which sits on the AWS bucket so we will have to uh, give the name for it so we can just give stocks only right this is going to be uh, the object name this has to be um, having the extension also all right so that's all um, so what this will do uh, it will pick up this local file and then place it under uh, this particular bucket right let me uh, show you on the console as well so we have another new bucket which is created uh, which is currently empty there are no objects so soon after uh, this job is executed uh, that should um, you know put one file and we will check it again okay so this is complete okay so the same uh, stocks file has been copied over onto s3 bucket which we just created right so as a next step uh, what we will do is uh, we'll go ahead and uh, create athena um, table and i'll show you in a minute so we can just search for athena Athena is primarily used for log analysis um, basically when you have like a really huge logs that uh, each systems are you know dumping over the days you can actually um, you know perform a lot of log analysis using this tool uh, but for today's example you know I'll just uh, show it on a very simple table right um, so that way you know exactly what uh, you can do it with Athena right the first and foremost thing is to choose the data source which is uh, AWS uh, data catalog and the database uh, is actually empty so there are uh, several options if you see create table from s3 data um, bucket s3 bucket it will pick up the file and it will create the table or else you can even make use of AWS group crawlers so this will scan the files and create the you know metadata on which you can use it so for the simplicity uh, city I'll just make use of s3 bucket data right uh, we'll just give a name to uh, the table 
you can just type in the description and we will just go ahead and create a new table and uh, I'll just go create a new table and database here so learning with Rohan this is the database name okay I'll just go ahead and copy the s3 URI and place it in here let's see if this works I guess we don't have to give this stock the file name we'll just give this and uh, we will choose CSV um, as you see there are like several other data formats right web blogs uh, TSV delimited JSON parquet ORC ION uh, so there are several uh, data formats that it supports and uh, we will have to add the columns now you can also uh, do a bulk add column uh, for example I have already taken uh, the DDL here um, so all it does is you know it is it creates an external table with all these you know types of um, you know columns I'll just copy this and paste it here so this is the bulk um, you know column see uh, this automatically created the column name so that you don't have to do it for each and every columns right uh, once that is done um, it will also show the DDL uh, here and if you notice uh, it gives you the row format and also the field delimiter which is in a comma comma right and then the location is uh, this particular bucket you don't have to specify the file name it just uh, takes it from the uh, bucket name and then the folder okay um, okay so the bulk uh, create has this problem that it, it will not take um, the special characters I just go ahead and remove it all right so this is done okay so no output location is provided okay so yeah so before we do this uh, we will have to create one output uh, location for Athena so for that um, so the output location is required uh, so that it Athena saves the result set uh, on particular uh, S3 bucket so that is um, then we are the settings click on the manage and you can um, probably select one of the bucket here so this was the bucket I created for uh, Athena you know result set I will just uh, okay I think I have okay as you know uh, these are all um, buckets are all s3 s3 buckets are all region specific and the bucket I think I created using the North Virginia by that's so that was the default but now the location is Mumbai right and we'll switch back to Virginia I think the other uh, reason was uh, because of that region I guess okay so now we'll go ahead and save it yes that is true uh, the S3 bucket was created in that region okay now that um, output file is output uh, location is provided we will just go ahead and create uh, this table again uh, okay so the database was already existing so what I'll do is at this point I'll go to um, Athena query editor and if you see I think the database was already created right what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and create the table manually um, so that I'll show you this uh, option as well okay um, I'll go ahead and select everything and click on run so this is completed so the table is now created and please note uh, at this point table creation and dropping uh, they're all free uh, within Athena there is no charges but as soon as you start doing select and joins and uh, perform any querying uh, operation it will actually chargeable at for even though if you are reading like 10 kb of data the minimum amount of um, you know scan it consider is you know, 10 uh, megabyte I'll just quickly do one single select so that you are uh, kind of aware like how does it uh, look here So each run uh, for any select is chargeable and you can ch check the pricing from the pricing uh, location. So yeah, so this is the actual um, data from the data file.